New details in the death investigation of a Hopkinton teenager today. The medical examiner ruled Michaela Miller's death was a suicide. The investigation has been controversial, with her mother claiming a cover-up. As WBZ's Ken McLeod reports, a prominent civil rights attorney is now joining the family's call for justice. It's been exactly a month since Michaela's body was found hanging from a tree along this trail off West Main Street in Hopkinton. And the medical examiner's ruling today does not appear to have resolved anything in the eyes of her family. Suicide, asphyxia by hanging. That was the state medical examiner's conclusion today in the death of 16 year old Michaela Miller, whose body was found by a Sunday morning jogger with a belt around her neck. Her mother, Calvina Struthers, says investigators quickly told her it looked like a suicide. But she then took to social media, accusing authorities of covering up her daughter's death at the hands of other teens after being bullied because she was black and gay. That drew a vehement denial from the DA. The idea that we would be not investigating bullying or a murder as the allegation is just not true. Two weeks ago, the DA ruled out five teens involved in an altercation with Michaela at her apartment complex the day before her death, citing proof none of them were near the scene. At a vigil days later, Struthers was joined by some community activists in calling for a completely independent probe. If they would not have immediately made a conclusion regarding my child's death and did a proper investigation, or did any investigation initially at all, we wouldn't be here. Tonight, the DA reached out to the family again, pledging to explore every investigative angle as to why Michaela committed suicide and to make the results public. But Michaela's mother doubled down on her accusations. She'll be part of a virtual press conference tomorrow afternoon alongside nationally known civil rights attorney Ben Crump, whose recent high profile cases include the death of George Floyd. The announcement of tomorrow's event reads in part there's no way Michaela could have killed herself. On Friday, demonstrators plan to converge on the Middlesex DA's office and again ask for the feds to take over this investigation. In Hopkinton tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.